I've been beat up my whole life. But I always come out on top. I'm a two-time UFC champion. And you may hate that. Hate the money, the power, the girls. Hate my right hand. You know what I hate? I hate to lose. Shootout.com with Sokuju Terry. The African assassin. The African assassin. That's People right. are wondering where you came from. Yeah, at the press conference, uh, the weigh-ins on Friday, <laughs> you speak a little French, but clearly you speak English. Yeah. Um, you know, you're working out with Dan Henderson and Team Quest. How did that relationship start? Um, actually, it started in 2004, I think, when um, Dan was trying to get ready to fight Nakamura, and he was looking for a judo guy. And then they found me, and then I came up, and I liked it, and I stayed. Did you have any inkling during your judo competition that mixed martial arts was something that you wanted to work on? You know, I used to look at MMA as a bunch of butt naked guys in a cage just doing some stupid things. You know, I never had any kind of experience with it until then. And, and working with Dan and the guys at Team Quest sort of changed your opinion about yeah, it? Yeah, I liked it. And it was more, you know, it was kind of harder than judo. I mean, for me, because I went from gi to no gi, and then and the rules were different. But it was kind of more exciting. Yeah. And as a kid, I always wanted to do some boxing or kickboxing. But my parents were always, nah, you know, we want, we don't, we don't want you to do that because it's like, uh, you know, street fighting. Although back in the jungle, there's no street, so there's no street fighting. So. <laughs> What's all this in the jungle stuff? Are you playing it up for the Japanese media? Are you fighting lions and tigers and everything? You didn't fight any lions and tigers out there. So. Uh, you want me to bring it to the jungle? <laughs> Follow me, you'll see. <laughs> Cameroon, is it uh, is, is judo a, a big sport in Cameroon? How'd you get started there? Actually, soccer is really big back home. Judo is mostly like, you know, for travel kids, that parents want to stay away from travel, but want them to stay active. So there's either soccer or judo, and uh, I chose judo. I mean, my brother chose judo for me, actually. Mm -hmm. So And then I got hooked, and I stayed with it. So you were one of the trouble kids they were trying to keep straight? <laughs> Uh, I guess so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the fight last night. Um, as far as I can tell, it was the biggest upset in terms of what the odds makers were saying in, yeah, in mixed was... martial arts history. Were you even aware of that as you stepped in no. the ring, how big an underdog you were? I knew from the get-go I was the underdog, and I've always been the underdog because most people don't know me. Even in judo, when I came up here, no one knew me. So, I mean, they didn't know, they didn't know until yesterday my skills and what I can do in the ring. So, I kind of... Since they won, like I said, I knew I was big on the dog. Yeah. You didn't change anything. A lot of people hadn't seen you. The, the only chance I had to see you was against Glover Teixeira in the WEC. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and, and clearly, um, you know, you talk about your judo skills. It, what is the difference between MMA and judo, and how are you going to translate that into your career? I mean, until my last fight with Glover, I didn't pretty much make a difference between MMA and judo. Judo is all about takedowns. MMA is about takedowns, striking, and how. Uh, I would be able to put all that together because uh, my last fight when I lost was just I didn't know a whole lot about the guy. I was just like, oh, I got us. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, so let's strike. But I found out he was instead of striker. So and then I didn't. I was not thinking about you know putting everything together instead of just being a one-dimensional kind of fighter. So that made me change a lot on how to approach it.